we have implemented gradient, ascent, and descent on planar geometry, much like a terrain where we use the gradient of the height. For an arbitrary geometry, what we can use as the cost attribute? We cannot use the height, because we don't want a top-down gradient descent in this case. We want to have the lines come from the localized peaks and find their way into the localized valleys, same as before. One thing we can use is depth. There are many ways to compute depth using an arbitrary geometry. One of the easiest ways is to use volumes. So that's what we are gonna do. Set the cost attribute to the result of the volume sample of the STF volume. Disable attribute blur nodes for now. As you can see, we have the gradient vectors. But the result looks a bit coarse. Reducing the step size will improve the result. But you also have to reduce the mean disk to keep more of the shorter lines. We can also amplify the cost attribute as the values are too close to each other, which causes a lot of them to go below the threshold. You can see how blurring the cost and the gradient drastically affects the result, just like in the height field example. I'm just gonna merge the original geometry to see the lines more clearly. Gradient descent and ascent is very sensitive to initial conditions. You can see how increasing the step size multiplier helps us here too. It helps fix these kinds of junctions quite well. I'm gonna convert the polygons into NURBS curves. Now take a look at the curvature of the model. It's quite non-uniform due to the topology of the model. Let's try the uniform version of this model. The result is wildly different, more uniform and well behaved, but not as interesting as the previous result in my opinion.
We can also scatter on the peaks like before. I think this is not as interesting as uniform scatter in this case. We will now implement the gradient ascent. Just duplicate the network and negate the cost like before. They are complementing each other quite nicely. You can merge them both also. Now duplicate the entire network once again. This time we will not use depth but curvature, which can also give us quite interesting results. Make sure the curvature is on points. We will experiment with different types of curvatures. We can only use the types of curvatures that gives us a scalar attribute. So that means Gaussian, mean, curvedness, smaller and larger principal curvatures. I find that mean curvature to be the closest to depth that approximates peaks and valleys quite nicely. Now you know how to convert this into gradient ascent.
you can actually see depth and mean curvature are so similar to each other in this case. Feel free to play around to come up with interesting variations. I will try a few other models like this angel model. You can see it works quite well. This girl model also yields some very interesting patterns, almost like x-ray and muscle tissues, like you could see her internal organs. And with that said, see you guys in the next Ascent.